you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Do you ever see one piece of content show up on more than one site so that if you go to search results, let's say, from Google, can you see the same video show up more than once, or the same podcast, or the same blog post? How do we do that, Dr. Mark? Well, and this is part of our way of creating blueprints for people that are all about online domination of yes. certain search terms or your own professional category in a, in a local area. Well, part of this is what we call syndication. So you take one video that you've just created, uh, whether it's from a webinar, whether it's from a Q&A you know, Q kind of session as we're doing right now, and you take that one piece of content, but there are lots and lots of websites that are hungry for content. They don't create their own content. They're simply trying to collect good content because they want as many people to visit their site as possible because they tend to make their revenue off the ads that are around there. So they're happy to receive your content. So you can take one video and have it show up on 20 different sites, all of which have keywords and descriptions and links. And now when the person searches that keyword, you might have five out of 10 slots be the same video, but slightly different because it's on a different different link each time, different different website. It's on different websites and so they show up. It's always a joke. Does we, we, We've seen them from Romania. We've seen them in foreign countries right. where they have found our YouTube videos. And they've and they even like translated it. the uh, the descriptions so sometimes. They put it down below and they, tr they translate right there and they put it on their website and then that shows up in our search results. Well, somebody who's coming and they don't understand the language isn't going to be able to understand what we're doing, but when they see it that we've got four out of the ten are the same video, they think, well, that's a pretty important video. And it's kind of exciting to see yourself around the world in all these different right. videos. Right, and, and, you know, people might misunderstand and say, oh, my God, they stole my content. No, you, you want them to steal your content. It's your content. It still links back to you. It's still you branding yourself as the expert that you are. They can't do anything about that. The fact that it shows up on their website and sells ads for other things and makes them that's money, right. that's terrific because... You know, it brings people, it's a win-win. It's a win for that website owner, and it's a win for you because you are propagating yourself all around the web, and the links are still connected to that, especially if you're wise enough to actually have some titles in your video Absolutely. that have your website name. So in case the text got stripped off and uh, linked to something else, the video is what it is. And so, you know, our video at the end says expertmarketingacademy.com. And so no matter where it goes on the web, it leads people back here. And Google does put in YouTube what they call an embed code. It's, now, you can turn it off, but it's there for people to be able to pick it up and put it on their website. Now, we don't have many on our website from somebody else, but we do have a couple. Yeah. Because why do we want to go reinvent the same wheel if they're telling somebody in one of those how-to videos exactly what to do? So how to set up your WordPress blog. Mm -hmm. We might use a video like that. We've certainly recommended in some of our materials. So it's a real important thing to do. Yep. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample. And we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.